Let's take a closer look at another Phaeton topic today, the light in and around the car. The Phaeton was presented in 2002 with a 4i headlight concept, large LED indicators and full LED rear lights. In 2007 came the first facelift and they changed to a bike xenon dynamic headlight, so low and high beam in one and the assembly can turn into the corner, plus an additional cornering light. They reused the large lower indicator as the daylight running light and moved the indicator to the inner position. The rear lights stayed the same but were now slightly darker. So let's take a look at the headlights of my Phaeton. So that is a GP1 which means it's the first facelift so we have the new headlights with the LED running lights and you can see that it's still this 4i design but actually the inner one is now the indicator and that is a bike xenon headlight. So low beam, high beam is both done in the outside one, which is also quite good, or usually it's positioned there because the car looks wider when you see the lights. So it also looks like a bigger car in your rear view mirror. Um, interesting is this light right here, there is an additional H7 light, which is your cornering light. And I'm gonna show you how this works in a bit. And of course we have the fog lights underneath. So this is what it looks like when pretty much everything is on. So you can see the headlights on the outside, the indicators inside, although I preferred the indicators like this in version 1. And we have the fog lights and our indicators in the side. So I just steered a little bit. So the cornering light is on now. So let's see if I can show you that here. So the indicator is obviously off. This is the main headlight and this is the cornering light which shines into the corner here now. And if you steer away, it's off. So it's no cheap cornering light like what other car categories have where one of the fog lights goes on and it looks like your car is broken. This is a proper light only for that purpose. And you can see which area it's uh, shining at here. Okay, so I want to show you what this cornering light is doing now. So that is the normal headlight. If we now steer to the left, you can see how this corner is being lit now. And then if we steer to the right, you can see how this corner is being lit now. And then the other one is switching off gently. So it's no hard transition. You can see how it's slowly switching off. So at the rear, you can see the full LED rear lights. So we have the four large circles and we also have the outside bit, which becomes the indicator as well. Special here is that the Phaeton was first started with a self-illuminating license plate and they changed it here to four license plate lights. So the normal VWs had two license plate lights, the Phaeton had four because it's also part of the ambient uh, light concept and I can show you that in a bit. So if you walk up to the car and the light is on automatic mode, you open the car, the light is on. You can also see the rear license plate light is so bright that it um, shines at the area behind the car. So that's pretty helpful. We don't have lights in the door handles. They didn't do this at the time, but we have a big light in the side wing mirror. So that's always pretty good to um, yeah, show you what's underneath your door. If we open the car, can see we have this side light and we have another light underneath here in the door so you always see what's underneath and you also see how the lights inside the car start but they don't start immediately it's just a, a gentle uh, transition so that's very nice so let's step inside if we now start the car You see how the headlights are adjusting. So they go up and down, left and right. 
because we have cornering light in this car. So it's not just that we have this additional H7 light bulb to shine into the corner, into the tight corner if we take a junction. We can also change the angle of our headlights, of our bike xenon headlights. So inside, I like this design very much with this white and red. We have obviously a steering wheel. Um, everything is lit around here. Also the door pockets, even these little buttons here at the top. Um, and all the controls for the power windows. Really nice here in the middle. Always keep in mind this car was designed in 1998 to 2000. So that was all new stuff with indirect light, which we also know from BMW. Really nice also with the unit here on the top for the roof. If you want to enter at the back, you can see how the light is being switched on for you, but only in the back, which is also very nice. So the driver stays in the dark. And if we step inside here, obviously nice and quiet. We have all the buttons and also the door handles lit here. We have our own screen in the center with the climate controls. And then of course at the top we have our reading light. So we have a really strong light here and here and the main light in the middle. And of course we also have ashtrays with light. So these are the ones at the back and these are the ashtrays in front. So keep in mind that this is a VW individual package, so there might be a couple of options you won't find in every Phaeton. As you know from one of my previous videos, one of the highlights of the Phaeton is the trunk. First of all, enjoy that show. Look at these hinges and then enjoy this large square boot also with carpet at the top and actually with three lights. So there's one, here's one, and then also here. So now you can see it, how it looks like in the dark. So it's really a lot of light in your trunk. You always see what you do there. Okay, so let's open it. You can see it's lit immediately. You can see everything around the car and the light is on so you can find it in the parking area. If we lock it again, look at what the rear license plate um, lights are doing. So they don't switch off immediately, they try to do it like a curtain. So that's quite nice. So you can see how they actually do it from inside out. If you open it and from inside out again when you lock it. Okay, so I'm trying to give you a sense now what the light is like in this car. So we start with a sharp left turn. You can see how the corner light is on. Um, by the way, this switch is on below 40 kilometers per hour. So now you can see how this switch is off on this side. And on this side, it switches on on the right hand side now. Okay, so this is low beam. This is high beam. You can really see the difference when it's really dark. And you can already see how the lights are steering with the car. So it doesn't matter where you go, you always have the perfect light. Here's a junction, a pretty dark junction. So we put on the indicator, we are below 40 kilometers per hour so it already switches on our cornering light on the left hand side otherwise it would wait until we reach 40 you can see how much light we have here okay and this is full beam now let's switch on the fog lights that's something below can't really see a big difference now here but when there is fog it makes a difference in case you are wondering what this little green light here is, so this is the park distance control of the Phaeton, but we will discover that in a separate video. And there's one really cool feature I wanted to show you. If you click on setup, 
and then you go to fervor and service you can put the headlight sprayers in the service position and this is to adjust the headlights so only if you do that you can reach the screws for it so now these headlight washers are out and you can do that because they are driven by an electric motor of course and now deep inside here are the screws to adjust the headlight and a few words in general about the phaeton and light you always have the right light you never really ask yourself why and after a while you find out ah, okay they have this and that technology for example these um, headlights that turn into the corner or you have this junction light that suddenly switches on you also have powerful fog lights you have powerful fog lights at the rear as well the full led rear lights you have great interior lights like you could see you have the normal lights plus the reading lights and we even have lights in the foot compartment of passengers so you always have the perfect light and you are just getting used to that really quickly also we have to say here that everything we see on this car today is not really special because a lot of cars have that but keep in mind that this car was actually designed at the end of the 1990s and it was quite special already at this time to have full led rear lights keep in mind that for example the Mercedes S-Class came out in 2002 with the first facelift and it only had LED brake lights but everything else was still with light bulbs and now look at the Phaeton and um, yeah so just keep in mind it's it's an older car but for that time it was really impressive and it's still really impressive today and it's really good and usable and it can definitely compete with modern cars as well so I hope you liked this insight into the Phaeton's technology and check out my playlist for more. See you at the next one.